Hey guys, so I had an issue with the first one, so I'm just going to do this again. I've already finished this wall, so basically what I do is when I start, I get out an old rag that's the, mainly the one that I use for the shower or the sink to dry it off. I grab it, I spread it out on the ground, so this way when I step out of the shower I have something clean to step on. Take my shower head. Spray the whole way around the shower. Get it all nice and wet. I'd normally do this when I'm in the shower, but I wanted to show you guys. Let me turn that down. Put them spray everywhere. As I said, normally I do this when I'm in the shower. Right, I'm gonna rinse the soap off of this side. So just go over a little bit extra when you have soap. And as you can tell, I didn't clean down here. And there's a very good reason for that. The reason is, is I stay about a good half an inch away from the ground when I clean the walls because then my sponge doesn't get dirty. I can use it a little bit longer without having to rinse it out. I can just scrub all the walls down really fast, rinse it out, scrub this down really fast, which I did wash, but it it didn't turn out right in the last video, so I'm going to rewash it again so you can actually see what I'm doing. I also scrub my shower head which I'll show you again, but to wash it off, I just basically go like this. <laughs> and then, of course, the hose just runs off. And I still have to do this wall. And this way also works on glass doors, as well as these, like, clear things. You see how dirty that is with soap scum? You just wet it. Fly. I think it's time for some fly traps. We're okay. That's it out a little bit. So I just got one, two, three dots. I don't know why it wasn't that time. I was just spacing. Anyways, mix it all up. Pinch right here to do your faucet thing. I just pinch it and I shove it in. And that gets all of those crevices and everything in there. You don't have to worry about trying to fight with it yourself. You can put your finger on the corner. Go around any insides that there are. the outside and make sure when you go around the outside that it hits that wall because then you're getting in that grout and you're making sure your grout that stays stays clean which you really really want without being abrasive to it because then it's just going to tear up and you're going to get mold and get cracks like this that's what happens when you rent a place whatever <laughs> so just to do the wall though I just do circular motions. <sighs> I'm short, so this is as high as I can get. Grout lines, just follow them. They're really easy. But to do the tiles, just circular motions. The size of the tile, a little bit over. Because you want to get over into the grout lines. You just do circular motions all the way down. And I just do like a zigzag pattern like S. Because then I make sure that I don't miss any spots. La, 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 la. Yes, I let my shower get dirty just to show, show you this tip. <laughs> it's been driving me crazy. And I can't wait to take a clean shower. I don't I, I'm one of those people that I don't feel like you're getting clean if you're in something dirty. That just doesn't make sense. Am I the only one that has that? Leave a comment down below. Let me know how you feel about washing yourself in a dirty shower. Do, do you think that that would make you clean or does that bother you like it does me? And as I said, I just go like that far down all the way around. 
circles. <laughs> yeah. And I'm not wearing any shoes because it's my own. Um, if I was doing a client's house, I'd be wearing shoe covers. Which are actually really nice for cleaning. It may sound kind of stupid, but they're really nice for cleaning. Alright, so we take our shower head because we don't want it to dry. And we need rinse off. And I just do the same thing that I did before. Go back and forth, but I like hold it above it so anything goes straight down. And when I clean the ground, I clean that all up. But I also didn't do my sponge completely disgusting by doing that. But I still rinse off in the sink as I go, like per each wall. Just because I'm a cleaner, that's what I do. You don't actually have to, but I'm going to show you this. Same thing. Get it nice and wet. You can just leave it hanging. It's really not going to hurt it. Three dots. Doop, doop, doop. Mix it all up, and it doesn't need to be super wet because you're going to be getting wet. Um, I stand on the edges of it, so this way it stays where I want it to and just hold it. And just wipe it. Mean like a clean shower. And even like uh, sometimes they get orange. That's actually orange mold. Or if you use like tea gel or something, that soap scum build up. And it'll turn into mold. It is disgusting. Make sure to clean your curtains when you do that. But these kind, these plastic kind, don't do well in the washer or. getting washed like that. This is honestly the easiest way. may look dumb, but it works really well. Wash my hand off because it was all dirty from cleaning it. Get soap on the other side because your hand just use your hand. Get it wet. Wipe it off. So you see the difference there? This cloudiness. It's a lot better. And then when you dry it off, it looks even better. So after I rinse everything and I do it all, and then I rinse it all, I grab a dry rag. And I just go over it and dry it off. Same little circles. Um, honestly, I like to use my microfiber towels that I don't have any in here right now. For some reason, I forgot to grab them. But just dry it off. And that right there is how your house cleaner gets your shower to look fantastic and when you come home you don't see even water dots so thank you for watching like subscribe and make sure to clean your faucets because those things get disgusting so i'm gonna go clean this wall because it's all gross especially now compared to these walls and get this floor done bum 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 uh, just